the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate the dedication of this holy temple, celebrating the day when this holy building was consecrated as a place of worship exclusively for God. The introitus, the introit of this Mass is very significant. It helps us understand the mystery that we celebrate. We prayed at the beginning of the Mass with these words, terrible is, terrible is this place. It is the house of God and the gate of heaven, and it shall be called the court of God the house of God, the court of God. When Solomon consecrated for the first time a temple to God, the temple of Jerusalem built by him, he was wondering how can God's infinite majesty abide in this temple, in this building? Is it ever possible that God is here? Yes, it is, because his infinite glory in some way is present in the building, not because of the physical building, but because of the mystery of which the building is a sign, the mystery of his uh, spiritual, mysterious presence. The presence of God in mystery is visible especially when we pray, and the temple is a place of prayer, and the presence of God is signified and made present, especially when the sacrifice is offered to adore Him. That was only a prefiguration of the true temple. But the question was still there when the New Testament was fully revealed in Christ, can God, the infinite one, abide in a finite building? Yes, because God took on our flesh. He became man. He became in some way finite because he took our flesh. He uh, uh, united our body, our human nature, to his divine nature. The temple is not a building, but a person, the Word incarnate, Christ. He is the temple of God. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will build it again. And Jesus was making reference in that context to his, uh, to himself, to his person, the Christ himself, who would die in his sorrowful passion to rise from the dead and to be the risen Lord, the, the temple always uh, rebuilt forever, the temple which is God himself. And this holy building, this Christian building is a sign of God's mystery, of Christ's mystery, the Word incarnate. When we gather to worship God in Christ, we are the body of Christ. We are the members of his body. We are inserted in his body. This is the church, and this temple expresses the mystery of the church the mystical body of Christ, uh, each one of us being that stone, a living stone, building up the temple, the mystery of the church, the very heart of this temple, the very reason for the church to be, the reason for this holy edifice to be here is Christ. And Christ is there in the tabernacle. He is the center. He is the reason why we are here. We gather 
for the Mass. The Holy Eucharist makes the Church. The Holy Eucharist is the heart of the Church. The Holy Eucharist is the heart of this Church, of each Catholic Church. It should always be the heart of each of our parishes. Where Christ is the center, Christ is the reason for being a parish, for being a church. We have to discover once again, my dear brethren, this holy mystery to worship God in this holy temple and to avoid that old temptation already present in the gospel, to turn the temple of God into a marketplace where we do our own business, we sell, we buy, we do a social, we speak to each other, we meet other people, we are happy and we clap. No, this is a marketplace. But Jesus cast out of that marketplace these people, people looking at themselves. This is not the church, this is the anti-church. We want only the mystery of Christ. We want Christ. We want his church. Let us rejoice today, my dear brethren, as we celebrate this holy mystery, uh, calling to mind that day when this building was consecrated, was dedicated to God, set apart for him, for Christ, for the holy the Eucharist. Let us always celebrate this mystery to be built as a temple, as a mystical body of Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.